sure that I'm grateful. Children of all ages will be trick-or-treating, though, or going to parties this Halloween, and parents and caregivers will inevitably think about ways of keeping them safe. 100%, and it's important to remember that safety goes beyond just checking your child's candy and telling them about stranger danger. Joining us this morning with more is child safety expert, Ahal Bear, who also just dropped the mic on us. Yeah. What, is your, what was your other day job? I am a former sex crimes and child abuse prosecutor. Wow. So she is, in fact, the expert knows the on deal. all of this That's business. Yep. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much yeah. for having me on. We were just talking and pondering, why is it that we get a little bit more verklempt Anxiety. over <laughs> Halloween versus any other time of year? I think because there's so much chaos, mm. and there's so much almost this organized chaos, and also <laughs> disorganized chaos right. is what I like to say. Parents plan for chaos. There's a lot of costumes. It's not about seeing things right in front of us. Mm -hmm. And there's just a lot of movement. And right. I think any time that happens, you're navigating a lot of parents wanting their kids to have amazing experiences. And also kids navigating a lot of the different scary pieces of the holiday. Yeah, I mean, there's a tremendous amount of social interaction with people mm -hmm. you may never have socialized with before. You're out in the street. You're going house to house. That's right. That's why you have a party and keep them all home. No. Keep them all home. Oh and well, good luck with that. But so what are some of the tips, though, for taking your kid out trick-or-treating? So I think the first thing is to recognize that it's really important to have conversations with your kids. It's also important to have conversations with any adults that are going to be around right. your kids. Mm -hmm. Right? You're literally sending your kids to different people's homes to collect candy. It's a great time to say to them, hey, listen, here are some things that we want to talk about before you go trick-or-treating. And you have the obvious ones, right? right? You want to keep your phone on you if you have a phone, right. wear reflective tape, those kind of very like obvious technical safety safety pieces. Mm -hmm. But there's also the piece that I like to talk about, about tricky behaviors, right? When we think about stranger danger, what yeah. you just mentioned, a lot of times we think about safety and strangers. But the majority of stuff that happens to kids when it comes to abuse is not about strangers. 91% right. of sexual abuse victims are abused by someone that their family knows. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we like to talk about tricky behaviors. If someone tries to give you candy and says to you, you don't have to tell your parents mm. that I right. gave you this candy. Hey, that's tricky. And it doesn't matter what the person look like, looks like or who that person is, their behavior is tricky. It's There is a fine line, and thank you for bringing this up, about children being taken advantage of by the people that they know. Sometimes it's a neighbor. I know in my community, sometimes it's more of a party for the parents mm -hmm. than it is for the kids. How do you navigate that conversation without scaring right. the living daylights right. out of them? And I see this both as a professional and a parent of three children who has had many awkward conversations sure. with my mm -hmm. own children, which is it's not a one-time sit-down conversation. Right? Mm -hmm. It's about little small moments of abuse prevention. Turning to your kid when they're sitting there having cereal, seeming like they're, you know, really actually having a great day so far mm -hmm. and saying, hey, by the way, you want to know something? I just want you to know that if you are ever in a situation where someone acts in a tricky mm -hmm. way, asks you to keep a secret mm -hmm. from your parents, or right. gives you something and says, if you tell your parents, mm -hmm. you're going to get in trouble, hey, I want you to know that's super tricky. I want you to come and tell me. But I also want you to know this. If something ever happens that makes you feel unsafe and you don't tell me right away, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything to cause it, and I'm still going to love you. Right. And those little moments set the stage sure. for your kids being able to come to you and say, hey, something unsafe happened or something did not feel okay. And right. you're keeping the communication comfortably open, no matter how uncomfortable it may yes. have been for them. So right. what about just safety things? You know, trick or treating in groups. Don't go to a door by yourself. That's totally. Yeah. Don't go to a door by yourself. <laughs> Don't go into someone's if they home. Say, Come on right. In, right? Right? right. If somebody says to you something like, "Oh, I'm going to give you something special, but I need you to step inside," mm. let's not mm -hmm. do that. Let's not right. do that. Right? right. And let's make sure that we do right. stay in groups. That we do stay with the people that we're supposed to be with. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also think that a lot of times when we worry about being about scaring our children, it's because our kids look at us and the way we speak to them. Mm -hmm. So if I am not nervous when I talk to my kid, if I take a deep breath, relax my mm -hmm. shoulders, look them in the eye and say, you are going to have an amazing time. Right. But I also want you to know X, Y, and Z. Right. They'll take their cues They take, from they you. totally do. Are there any new, on top of all the stuff, yeah. are there any new things 
Because uh, some children, this is going to be their first time trick or treating because of their age, the pandemic, and then too. some of them because of the pandemic. Are there new things that we need to look out for? I mean, I think it's always a good idea to look through candy, right? Make sure that everything is actually closed and it's packaged, and that especially if your child has allergies, mm -hmm. to make sure that that's a piece of of that. But what I would also say is that a lot of times parents, when their kids are trick or treating, will rely on certain apps. Right? Mm -hmm. They'll rely on knowing where your child is based on a particular app. Mm -hmm. Don't just rely on that right. and I think a lot of times parents fall into this place of I can see where you are so I know you are safe right mm. but that's only one aspect right. of right. safety right. the conversation is really the other key all very, good information very key. thank you so much for your yeah. expertise not only as thank a professional you. but as a parent and we, we really appreciate your time happy you safe so Halloween happy, happy trick-or-treating yeah. happy trick-or-treating okay. <laughs> and we'll post all of these tips uh, to our website at pix11.com